is Yona Gia. He last appeared in court in custody several weeks ago. He wanted to leave for Miami, and it seems that wish has come true for Aguia. Aguia was out of custody today, and his defense said that he did, in fact, fly in from Miami for this hearing. His defense asked for extra time as Aguia has a new lawyer on this case. The defense also brought up the difficulties due to both language and geographical barriers with Aguia res residing in Florida now. Due to those factors, Aguia is set to return on August 6th for an entry of plea hearing. Law enforcement made contact with Aguia back in March on South 21 and a half Road in Mesa County. During this contact, agents found over 120 cannabis plants. But according to the affidavit in this arrest, agents were not able to locate any ready for sale cannabis at this address. Aguia is also seen on camera at Grand Valley Power paying an electric bill with over $6,000 in cash on January 7th of this year. Aguia was booked on charges of possession of more than 50 pounds of plants, a class one drug felony, and cultivation of more than 30 cannabis plants, which is a class three drug felony. Now, there are six other arrests made for this suspected drug trafficking organization who are in the Mesa County courts, and there are other members that CBI believes conspired in the drug ring and are witnessed participating that were not arrested during this takedown. First on the Western Slope and live in the studio, I'm Ivan Fisher for KREX 5 News.